how much does a life coach make per client? And what's possible? Like, is there a ceiling on how much a life coach can make, which will enable you to have a lot bigger transformation in your clients and make a lot more revenue in your business. So let's look at a couple things over here. We're going to be looking at coaching in two different ways. You can do hourly coaching or you can do results-based coaching. We're going to look at the pros and the cons. So first, let me just define what these are. So hourly coaching, you might charge $100 per hour or $150 per hour or whatever that looks like. Maybe it's $25 per hour, but that is it. It's a commodity or it's a feature. You're providing coaching for a certain length of time. So if you're charging $100 per hour, if you want to make a thousand dollars, you've got to do 10 hours worth of coaching results based coaching. You're offering a result or an outcome, right? So you're taking people through a process, whether that process takes three hours or 30 hours, you're not charging them by the hour. You're charging them for the outcome. You might have a six month program. Where we're going to take you through a process. Some of it is going to be some of your hours, but some of it might be pre-recorded courses. You're going to have some accountability. You might have some group calls. You might have some Q and a that you have on WhatsApp. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do throughout that six month process where they're going to get a specific result and for a result based program. Well, let, let's get into the pros and the cons. So let's first talk about the hourly pros. Okay. It's affordable. You're just charging an hourly rate. So instead of a multi-thousand dollar program or a $10,000 program, if it's hundred dollars per hour, that sounds very affordable and people see it that way. And it's very simple to sell. It's just coaching. It's very simple. There's nothing complex about it, but again, you're not selling the benefit. You're just selling the feature of hourly coaching, but it also takes weight off of your shoulders. So maybe you could look at that as a pro is you don't have the responsibility of assuming that they're going to get any specific result. You put that responsibility on them to just keep coming back for hourly coaching and hopefully they do enough of it that they will get results. So it's no responsibility for you. I would kind of consider that a con, but we'll leave it here. Now let's talk about the hourly cons. We'll say long hours, spare income and not measurable. All right. So let's explain what I'm talking about here. Typically there's more coaching that you're going to do at the hourly level. It's just more of your time. More hours are going to be put into that type of coaching and you're only going to be making spare income. Hourly coaching is typically not something that is a full time income. You're typically going to have another job or you have another income earner at your home and you're just doing hourly coaching on the side to bring in some spare change. And in a similar way to you don't have a responsibility, but there's nothing measurable that you're really tracking to know that your coaching is doing good. I mean, you're going to have feedback like, Oh, that was great. But what have you helped your clients accomplish? Everyone's going to be on a different page, striving for different goals. And it's not measurable because you're not aiming towards a goal. You're aiming to give them hourly coaching. Okay. So now let's talk about results, but let's actually jump over to cons. So what are the cons of a results focus? All right. You need a track record and you need confidence, right? If you haven't helped anyone get a specific result before, then that's hard because you need to have a track record. You need to have experience to be able to sell a $10,000 program to help people get from A to B. You have to have helped somebody get from A to B themselves, or at least yourself. Have you been able to go from A to B? It'd be kind of nice to have that track record and having that track record gives you confidence. You need confidence. You need, need to be able to talk about these things and be confident that the person you're talking to, yeah, you want to go from point A to point B. Yeah, I can help you get there. I've done it many times. So I put that as a con because if you don't have that, that's going to hinder you. You're not going to be able to do this right off the bat. All right. So now let's list the, the pros of results. Okay. You can be goal focused. That makes it so nice because depending on the goals that people have it helps you hone in and know exactly who your target audience is. Those who are trying to accomplish a specific goal. It might be a weight loss goal. It might be an income goal, whatever that goal is, you can focus on that goal and it's measurable. You know, when you get results, cause you're going to track results and you can measure it and it's high value. If there's a weight loss goal or if there's an income goal, there is a value there. And so to be able to say, Hey, these are the results you're going to get. 
And this program is, it's a six month program, it's $5,000. Or it's a six month program, it's $15,000. It has high value, people can perceive the value of that end result, so they have no problem exchanging that value in the form of a payment. Now the strategy I'm gonna share with you underneath here will work if you have hourly coaching. But I think it's a wasted opportunity because people that you find in this way they're really willing to pay. It's very common for people to pay five or 10 or $15,000 for results-based coaching when you follow this system. Let me explain what this means. Find a specific question because right now, all around the world, there are people searching for you. I mean, right in this moment, there are probably dozens of people and in a few hours, dozens more, but they don't know that you exist. What they're doing is they're going to Google and YouTube and they're typing in a question. So we need to find out what questions are they typing in so that you can be the one to get in front of them and answer that question. And if you follow these steps, it will work. You will be the one that they find. So you find that question, you answer that question with talking points. So just outline talking points that will roughly be about 10 to 12 minutes of an episode. Now, this is how you record it. You record the intro first where you set curiosity. You really sell the value of the video. You don't sell your program. You don't sell your coaching. You just let them know how valuable the video is gonna be. So you, you say things like, in this video, I'm gonna share with you blank, and I'm gonna share with you blank. Don't give away the answers, but just create curiosity about what's coming in the video and let them know by the end of this video, you will understand blank and you will be able to blank. So that's what I mean by the intro with hooks then you record your talking points. You know this inside and out, that's why you're the coach. Give them a gift at the end of your video, that's how they join your list. Now they're on your email list, right? Okay, so you've recorded a video, you've gotta design a, a curiosity creating thumbnail, you've gotta launch that episode in the right way on YouTube, and you've gotta nurture your email list. Continue to give value, don't have everything that you send out there be a, a pitch as well, but nurture them, just like you're gonna create a video that, that builds that relationship, send out emails that build that relationship and encourage them and occasionally invite them to enter your sales funnel. Send them to landing pages, send them to promo videos on occasion, nurturing is the most important. And if you do this and you focus on search, you will see your YouTube channel search traffic grow from one month to the next and your lead generation is gonna keep coming in and it's gonna grow from one month to the next. So this is just one episode. That one episode will become a marketing machine for your business and you create a second one and a third one and a 10th one and 20th and a hundred. You create hundreds of these videos because there are hundreds of questions that are being asked. Then let me talk to you about how much income you will make per client when you do it this way. You follow this, this strategy and you're gonna to start to generate leads every single week of people that want to hire you as a coach. And if you're doing results-based coaching, that might mean $10,000 from every client. So let's say you posted videos like this on YouTube and you had 100 people watch and you gave away a free gift. And out of those 100 people, you had 10 people that got your free gift. So now 10 people are on your email list and you're nurturing those 10 people. You give those 10 people invitations to get onto a conversation with you. And then of those three people, one person bought your coaching program. So just 100 views can result into a $10,000 coaching program. What if you had 10,000 views per month? That's very realistic following this strategy. So now you might be wondering, well, what's my free gift? Do I follow this strategy? And the answer is, yeah, I wanna give you my book. Now this book is called A Hero's Guide to Influence on YouTube. I teach that strategy in detail. I take you behind the scenes of several channels and show all of these steps and how we do them and how it applies to differently in different situations. It's in color. I take screenshots to show you YouTube and really show you everything that I can so that you can replicate what I've done on so many different channels. Go to natesyoutubebook.com. As long as you cover the printing and shipping cost, then this is my gift to you, natesyoutubebook.com.